up guys today I'm going to be changing the Coleman CT100U 3 horsepower engine to a Predator 212 stay tuned let's get straight to it here it is got the manual home here we go here's the beauty right there let's get the box out of the way here you go got the predator 212 brand new all right I'll get back to you guys when I put it on the bike guys so in the last clip you just saw um, of me putting the predator in and getting it to fit it did fit barely but that day I couldn't bolt it in because um, because the bolts that came with the original engine the three horsepower did not fit the six horsepower because the mounting plate was a lot thicker than the original mounting plate um, on the engine the mounting plate on the bike though does fit the engine perfectly I had to go get longer bolts so it took a few days um, for my parents to take me to Lowe's and also I had to wait for some parts I had to wait on Amazon for a clutch um, for the bike to even move because the 3 horsepower clutch does not fit the bore size that's on the Predator I also ordered parts from Go Power Sports and I had a tank from Amazon so this project should have been like very quick um, but I had to wait for parts so that's why this video has been taking so long but it is done and I'll be showing you guys um, the rest of the bike so just stay tuned for the rest of the video what's up guys I just got my new package from Go Power Sports for my mini bike for my Predator 212 swap so I'm going to unbox it really quick and show you what came in the package Let's get straight into it. Here we go. This is the Stage 1 Predator 212 mods. Comes in your paper. First thing you get is your nice exhaust pipe. I got the Coleman 1, Coleman header. You get in another bag, you get your your new jet for your car. You get your air filter um and it looks like you get some mounting hardware for your exhaust in here so you get this open you get your adapter for your air filter and your piece to hold your um, wait, let me put this back in The, the choke, it holds the choke. Alright, and then the next thing is our KN style filter. I got it in red. Here it is. We're going to be putting it on today for the video. You also get the cool Go Power Sports sticker. I got this one. And you get this cool one too. Alright, peace out. So also, since I'm doing the Predator 212 swap on my Coleman mini bike 100cc, I did a review on it, a three year review, um, one of the last videos, but the Predator 212 gas tank does not fit under the engine for, for my bike, and I don't want to modify it or anything because I don't want to mess it up. So I just bought this smaller one off of eBay, so I'm going to be using this one. 
stay tuned because I'm also going to be putting all the performance parts, right. air filter, what muffler, everything on the Predator 212. So, that's it. I'll see you outside. What is up, guys? It's Carter. Back at it again with another banger. And in the last clip, you saw that I unboxed my kit and my gas tank. So, I'm going to get up close and show you what everything is. That is the new air filter from Go Power Sports. Let me wipe this off real quick. That's the new air filter. That right there is the new exhaust pipe. We just bolt it down with two bolts, add a new gasket. Um, this one, um, it just comes with a, um, a little adapter with two bolts too. And then you gotta rejet the carburetor, so there's just one bolt right under here. You gotta undo that, and then there's a little, a little uh, bronze um, or brass piece that you gotta unscrew, and you gotta put the new one in. This is the new gas tank. It's the small one. I gotta go Power Sports sticker. It's the new Predator 212 engine. Um, it's bolted down with four bolts, and like I said, that first day that I got it, I had to wait to go get some new bolts to fit. Because the mounting plate is a lot thicker than the old engine. If you can see that. It's really hard to record. And I'm going to start it up for you guys right now. Alright guys, so to start it up, all you got to do is turn the choke to um, start. And then the kill switch, I hooked it up with the old Coleman kill switch. So it's got the old kill switch. Um, I also did get this tank idea from another YouTuber. Uh, I'm going to leave his video in the description. And probably the comments, both of them, most likely. And where I got this stuff from, Go Power Sports. This, if you're going to do this setup, you have to get gas line and a fuel filter. And it makes it really easy. The gas tank was held on with these bolts and this bolt. You just undo it. I think they were a 10 millimeter. Not too sure. So you turn it to start. Turn the switch on by pressing it down and you just pull it. It's going to be really loud so you're probably not going to hear me talk but I'll let it run for a few seconds and then I'm going to turn it off. Alright guys, we're going to end this video right here. We just got back from a quick ride. I did want to say, if you guys have a Coleman CT100U, this is the original one, or the X, then you should get a Predator 212. 
Um, you will not be disappointed at all. Um, especially with the Go Power Sports kit, if you put that on there and you ride it, you're gonna have a really good time. Um, and this was probably the easiest one to do because you don't have to drill any mounting holes. Although this probably took me about two weeks because I had to wait for parts. Um, but it was super quick. Every, as soon as I got the parts, got it all done in like not even an hour. Um, got everything in, put the air filter on, the muffler, hooked up the gas tank. It was a super easy project. So if you guys have a little bit of time and you guys um, saving up a little money, I saved up so I could have something a little better. And it was well, well worth it. So that's going to end the video for you all today. I'm going to leave the parts in the description. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the video. I'm going to try to put a montage at the end of the bike. Without further ado, peace out.